Kids, don't try that at home. <laughs> well, let's get situated. You know, there's only one thing that can follow that. <laughs> are going to be used in just a moment by a gentleman that means so much to me. I, I wouldn't be doing what I do if it was not for this man. He has been a major influence on many generations of uh, performers. I, I cannot be, I, I can't begin to say how special it is that he's here because he, uh, he's been under the weather lately, and he's been looking forward to uh, being here and being part of this, and he kind of kept from me how, how serious it was. And uh, he came all the way from Florida uh, to be here with us. And I, what can you say about a man who, you know, has worked in show business, specifically sideshows, for over 70 years? years. 30 years for, for Slim Kelly and Whitey Sutton, and he never missed a performance. Now that's something, that's something to say, you know, in show business, but you got to remember he was working the side show. He was doing 10 to 15 shows a day. created in 1929 and has been doing it and he's basically sick of it. He doesn't want to do it anymore. <laughs> he's gonna do it he's gonna do it for me. He's gonna do it for Krista because uh, well he's just he's just the greatest man ever. Uh, and I hope I hope I am this cool if I ever reach 94. sideshow era of which he has revived a lot of it and uh, also dug me up <laughs> enjoy showing it because it is different. An ordinary set of playing dice except for their size. Now, if I pulled out a small set like this, you couldn't see it very well, could you? 
over there. So I'm going to use the large ones here and try to impress upon you the fact that what you see is not always what you think you're looking at, in case you aren't watching. <laughs> very closely what I do because I don't try to fool anybody. All I try to do is confuse them to amuse them. Uh, in the front row there, can you see the numbers on the dice plainly? Yeah. Yeah. Yep, yep. Yeah. What five, are they? five and one. Uh, I thought they were just dots up here. <laughs> <laughs> of course, we know dice have numbers on them so we can tell the numbers by the number of dots that they have. I'm going to make you think that what you see is five and one right here. Can you see over here on the side? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, I want everybody to see. I'm going to try to make you think that's five and one right there. And I'm going to try to make you think it's six and three over here. But actually, that is not true. This is not five and one and six and three. Actually, this is uh, four and one right here, see? And I have to make you think it's five and one. And this is only six and two. So I'm going to ask you again, what do you see right here? But of course, if I was to tell you that that, that that was the numbers that you're seeing there, I have to change them now to make you think that you're seeing a little different number. Uh, I call this five and three because it looks like that. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, I call the back of it four and two, so you can see what's on the front and what's on the back. Is that right? Yeah. 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 Okay, now, now what I'm going to try to do though is make you think that what you don't think you didn't see is what you're not looking at again. <laughs> five and three here and five and three here. <laughs> Actually, if you had four and two right here and four and two right here, <laughs> you couldn't have five and three over here. <laughs> Actually, what I think they brought me out here for was to make these other acts look good. <laughs> no. I'm going to show you something different now. <laughs> I have here. Rope. Now the reason, the only reason I do this with the ropes is because this is a very popular trick, but a lot of people have not seen it presented the way I do it. So I like to show this the trick: There's a baby rope, papa rope, and mama rope. This is a very popular trick amongst magicians. I don't call myself a magician. I just do a few tricks that I developed during my years in the sideshow, where I was one of the freaks. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I used to make people think that I could actually do things that I, it was impossible to do, but I would do them anyway. Now, I'm going to show you this trick only because, as a magician, I did magic on the shows. Here, it's baby rope, mama rope, and papa rope. I'm going to show you, a, a friend of mine came out and he had just bought this trick and he came out and he showed it to me. His little girl stepped on a piece of glass and cut her foot very, kind of badly. And he left, he ran up, I'll see you later Melvin, and he ran up and I was working in the show in a fair. And he said, I'll see you later Melvin, I gotta take her to the first aid med. He ran off of there and left me standing there with three hips in my hand. He said, did the trick, but he hadn't shown me how to do it. <laughs> I said, well, I laid it down and it took me three months before I figured out a routine to do it. I'm going to do that routine for you tonight. Mm. Now, there is the baby rope, mama rope, and papa rope. Keep your eyes on the rope because at no time during my finger, do my fingers leave my hands. And so you can see every movement that, that, that I make. And all of a sudden, the ropes become all the same length. <laughs> All I do is hypnotize the audience into thinking that they saw all the ropes at the same length. Of course, we know they're not the same length. We know that because you can see there's one, there's two, there's three ropes all the same length. It looks like that. <laughs> we know they're not the same length because one of the ropes 
is really only this long. Look, actually one of the ropes is only that long. Everybody sees it. And another rope is really only that long. <laughs> in the sideshow, you know, where you didn't have to be good. <laughs>